<laughs> Britney Spears, because it's all going off at the moment. We all know her book has been released. It is out. So we are going to cross live now to San Ruben, hey, who Sam. has all the details on what's going, in, going on. Good morning, Good morning Sam. Sam. Good morning. Hello from New York City. And I tell you what, the book has just come out here in the States about four hours ago. And already there are more revelations. Let's talk about what we know already, what we've gone all over already in detail and even more detail as you have an opportunity as I have to actually read through the book. Brittany talks about Justin Timberlake quite a bit. She talks about being sexually active when she started at just 14 years of age. She talks about the romantic relationship with Justin. She talks about the breakup over text. And those two words from Justin to Brittany, it's over. She talked about how she was so broken up by this breakup that while he was gallivanting around Hollywood and having lots of uh, romances and relationships, she was at home in Louisiana, almost doubled over in tears. Uh, she said that Justin wrote a letter that she has put in a frame that is under her bed. And it is a letter uh, in more detail and a more uh, polite explanation just than it's over. So the, this great uh, relationship with Justin Timberlake discussed at length. And then we plunge into the conservatorship. And it's very interesting because obviously Brittany uh, articulate enough to work with a ghostwriter here, telling her complete story. And in the telling of the story, she brings up Alison and Dermot again and again, uh, the need to speak up and how she learned the hard way about not speaking up and that that was one of the things uh, that precipitated all the problems that she had. For a minute there, I thought you, she'd brought up Alison and Dermot. I thought, <laughs> what, I'm in the book? Where are we, Sam? You, know, you said you brought up <laughs> right. Alison and Dermot. I was like, really? I don't know everything. My Kindle right here, page uh, uh, 12. <laughs> uh, no, she, she also talks a lot, and, and, and Dermot, perhaps you'd find this relatable, about performing and, and how these tours started out and they were fantastic. And then a tour would become a bit of a slog that you wouldn't necessarily know what city you were in, the load in, the sound check, the show, the load out, that type of thing. So I think we, we get into the nitty gritty of that. And then some interesting anecdotes about life on the stage of MTV, uh, performing live with Michael Jackson. That sounded amazing. And remember that iconic performance with the snake wrapped around yes. her? Mm -hmm. Brittany writes, that she was, she writes that she was afraid of the snake. Oh. And she thought that if she looked the snake in the eye, the snake would kill her. So there, there's a lot of sort of uh, what I would call backwoods Louisiana, uh, not voodoo necessarily, but, but you know, there, there's a lot more to it uh, than you would necessarily think. Also, that performance uh, with Madonna and Christina Aguilera, and she, you know, she also, there's almost a feminist perspective in this book saying that Madonna is correct to talk about how uh, women pop stars particularly are, are criticized for their age or aging out of, of being a pop star. Uh, she talks about the performance with Madonna, the open mouth kiss that generated so much attention. She also, this is the part where I, I feel the book is, is, I don't wanna use the word failing necessarily, but again, how does a mother of two lose complete custody of her kids? And, and she does, you know, she just essentially says that she was controlled by her father during this conservatorship, that, that she was manipulated, and that she sort of agreed to these custody compromises. Hey, you can have 50% custody, you can have 70% custody, you can have full custody if I can still see the children. So that, that's a very sad element here. I, I mean, what, what's interesting, and I suppose it's not dissimilar to a lot of celebrity memoirs, in that there are a lot of ups but there are a lot of downs. There's been a lot of sadness. Uh, Brittany says her family history is filled with tragedy and she has experienced more than her share, quite obviously, of personal tragedies. Yeah. Sam, thank you so much for that little praise. Thank you, Always Sam. good to see you. I really want to read it now. Take I really want to read it. Do you want to read it? Well, do you know what I was thinking, as we heard from Sam there? You know how there's these fantastic shows like Tina and The Queen Show? Yeah. Well, someone as brilliant as Ben Elton should surely be... This sure, is a musical that you just... It has true. got yeah. everything, yeah. hasn't it? Tina is a great oh, show. Yeah. Tina is... This would be a stunning It probably musical. will happen, stunning to be fair. But also, you've got to... Should we copyright it now? <laughs> Let's do it. But you've got to think about her dad and, all, and also... The conservatorships in Yeah, it was just a bit weird. And, and also about her talking about relationships at a young age and stuff. And then you're thinking, where, where's the parent? where were the parents? What would they do? Clearly, weren't doing a good job. Guys.